Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. Today in this video, we're gonna show you how to paint up a set of exhaust manifolds. Now, recently, my brother's set of cats that were on his Volkswagen Golf died. So, what exactly does that mean? Well, the inside of them, if you guys have ever seen a catalytic converter, the inside is like a honeycomb. So, Luca, lift it up. I wanna see if I can show you guys what the inside of it looks like. So, can you see in there? If I could zoom in better, I could show you that it looks essentially like a grid. And that grid fills up this entire section right here. So all of this, that grid, so that the honeycomb catalyst, which is the catalytic converter, it essentially cleans up all the gases that come through the engine and leave through the cat and out the tailpipe. Now all the gases that are here that come this way are dirty, goes through the cat, it cleans it out, and then from there, you have cleaner exhaust air. Now eventually this is going to deteriorate and as you can tell, it broke which is why we're gonna be replacing this entire pipe with a set of catless headers. And from there, we're gonna show you how to paint them up. For this video, we're not gonna go in depth and show you how to remove and install a set of headers. However, if you wanna see that, I'll have a link for it in the description box, and you guys can also click on the annotation found to the left. It'll direct you to that video where we installed a set of headers on my brother's Mini Cooper. If you can tell, we've got the new headers to the right and the old ones to the left. Now, over time, if we just leave the bare metal to be exposed like that, even though it's stainless steel, it is eventually going to rust. So it's eventually gonna go from this to this. Now we're gonna be protecting it and making sure that it doesn't corrode like that from the headers all the way down to the back. So all of our new piping right here is gonna get painted in a high heat paint. So we're gonna go ahead and put our old catalytic converter and exhaust manifold away, and we're gonna focus on working on our new one right here. So the first step in getting these things painted is we're gonna to have to clean them up and prep the surface. So I'm gonna show you guys how to paint up this set of headers. So the paint that we're gonna be using today is a VHT flame proof header paint. Now this is a ceramic paint which is essentially gonna be very durable and it's gonna be able to withstand the high temperatures of all the exhaust gases passing through each one of these tubes. So the first step in getting this paint to stick to all these headers, so each one of these tubes, is we're gonna have to scuff all this up and then clean it up. Now we're not gonna need any kind of primer so all that we're gonna be doing is using a 3M scuff pad or scotch bright or anything like that. We're gonna go over the entire thing just to give it um, a slightly rough texture and that's gonna make it so that our paint is gonna be able to adhere properly and it's gonna be able to stick. Before we go ahead and use the scuff pad or your scotch bright, we're gonna go and give this a nice wipe down with wax and grease remover just to remove any wax or grease that's on there now. Now ideally you'd wanna do this to a set of new headers, however even if the headers or your exhaust or whatever you wanna paint up, it isn't new, if you clean it up and remove as much rust as you can, you're gonna be doing yourself good. So the more rust that you can take care of now, the better. But because these headers are new, we're not gonna to have to worry about that. So step one is grab a rag and some wax and grease remover and give the entire thing a wipe down. So we're gonna be using some shop towels, so all you have to do is break off one of them and then we're gonna be applying a little bit of the wax and grease remover on there. So go ahead and fold the towel into four, just like with a microfiber towel. We're gonna open this up, and we're just gonna apply a little bit on there and then wipe it down over the entire header. So once you have it open, we're just gonna do that, and we're just gonna rub that down over the entire thing. Now that should remove any grease, any fingerprints, any dirt that's on the headers. Now, there could also be oils on there to protect it from rusting from when they ship. Now, we're gonna be using the scotch Bright after to scuff it up and we're gonna have to follow it up for a second time with this exact same procedure. So, another shop towel and then wax and grease remover to follow it. And once you're done, you can see that we've got a little bit of dirt on there just from the beginning. So, this is a set of brand new headers and you can see that there's a little bit of dirt and grime that's on there from before. So, we can set that aside and then we can break out our scuff pad. So I'll have links to all this stuff in the description box. <clears throat> so just take it out and just take off a little piece. You can either rip it, cut it, or even use the whole thing. So with that, we're gonna go over and we're essentially gonna be scratching up the entire header to make it look a little bit dull and that's gonna make it so that our paint is gonna adhere nicely to the metal. So if you can see here, I'll focus on this header. See how that's nice and shiny? And this one right here is starting to look scuffed. So the better of a job you do this, and the more time you focus on prep, the better and longer lasting these headers will look nicely painted. So 
So here's a good example as to what we did for the right side. So these two runners right here are polished and we just started polishing the one on the left and this one right here in the middle is bare. So you can see the difference from before and after. So when we scuff it up like this, the paint is gonna stick nicely and it's gonna have a very nice long lasting effect. Once you guys finish up and have this semi matte kind of finish to it, this is after we scuffed it up. We're gonna go ahead and follow this up with our wax and grease remover and our rag. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up and remove any kind of debris, uh, any little metal shavings that we sand it off. We're gonna get that all removed from the header so that when we spray our paint, it's gonna adhere nicely. Now last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and use a little bit of masking tape to cover up any of the mating surfaces between the headers and the actual car. So this right here, this end is gonna be mounted up to the head. So I'm not gonna be painting up this area and I'm not gonna be painting the same part over here on this side where it's gonna mount up to the cat back exhaust. So what I'm gonna be doing is laying down a piece of tape over the entire thing and I'm just gonna be using a knife, an Ulfa knife right here to cut off any excess. So up here along this entire edge so that the entire mating surface is gonna have tape on it and it's not gonna have paint on that area. Afterwards, we can peel it up and it's gonna be nicely fresh just like how it is right there. So now with it like this, I'm gonna grab my Ulfa blade and I'm just gonna be trimming off any excess. Now I'll be able to coordinate better with two hands, but that is essentially what we're doing. We're trimming off any excess on the outside perimeter and we're also gonna have this area covered. So we're not gonna be cutting that, we're not gonna be cutting that, but we're gonna be cutting out this, so that section, that section, anything over here, and the same thing on the bottom. So as you can see, we've got our tape where we need it and not tape where we don't. So anywhere up here that we spray, you can see that we'll spray the metal part, but not the mating surface. This is exactly what we want. So as I just touched it, you guys can see that I put grease on there for my hands. Now just go over this one final time with the wax and grease remover and the reg, and then follow this up with our first coat of paint. So once you're ready, you can grab your can of VHT Flame Proof Exhaust Ceramic Paint, give it a shake, and start spraying down our first coat onto here. Now, just like when you're painting anything, you wanna start off with a first light coat, and then follow it up with a few thicker coats afterwards. That's gonna make it so we have a nice, thick amount of paint to protect the metal from rusting. Now, because these headers are somewhat intricate, you wanna make sure that you get every angle you can when you're spraying this down. So for the first coat, we're gonna hit everything like this. And then for the second coat, once this is all dry, we're gonna probably move the exhaust system so that we can get different angles just so that everything is gonna be covered in paint. Now as you can see how I'm painting, I'm doing small, light brush strokes. And this is probably enough. So we're gonna let this sit for probably 15 minutes, come back, and then spray it down for a second coat. Now after the first coat, you can see that I went ahead and I flipped the exhaust manifold upside down so I was able to get the other areas that I couldn't get when it was the other way. Now once you have it like this, you can spray down as many coats as you like until you're satisfied. Now if you can see right here, this is a total of four coats of paint over the entire manifold. Now we had enough in one can right here to spray down the exhaust manifold, the aluminum heat shield that covers up the exhaust, and the second part right here, which is essentially the cat delete. So the catalytic converter um, was down there past that bend, right there in that area. So with a pipe like this now painted up, we're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes, we're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna mount it on the car. Now, it's not completely dried up yet, and it's probably not going to be until we're done baking this. Now, in order to do that, to make it so that the ceramic paint is gonna be properly bonded to the exhaust manifold, we're gonna have to get this warm, and we're gonna have to keep it warm. Now, what that means is that we need to melt this paint, essentially, onto the manifold. To do that, all that we have to do is mount the exhaust manifold, the heat shielding, and the other pipe right there onto the car, and we're gonna let the car run at idle for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna warm all of this up and it's gonna make it so it adheres and it essentially bakes itself onto the manifold as opposed to just paint. Now that's gonna be a very durable, very long lasting finish. So once you've let the paint now dry onto the exhaust manifold, you can then go ahead and peel back all the tape that we laid down from before. And if you can see, we've still got our nice clean metal underneath. 
You can see that the mating surface between our exhaust manifold and the head is going to be unscathed because we masked it up and protected it from any paint. And you can see how nice that looks. Now once you're at this point, there's many different ways that you can bake the ceramic coating onto the headers. Whatever the manufacturer suggests, that's what you should do. So on each one of the paint cans that you use, so say if you use the VHT paint, just like what I use today, there's gonna be an instruction label on the back of it telling you how to bake it and how to take care of this afterwards. Now, I'm not gonna go into full detail regarding that, but it's very simple. You can do one of two things. You can either one, throw it on the car, or two, grab a box like this, throw the headers inside of it, have a hole on the bottom and a hole on the top, close the box up, and then grab a heat gun and stick it inside of there. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a lot of hot air inside of here, it's gonna allow some to vent out, and it's gonna potentially give the entire coating a uniform temperature, which is eventually going to cure the paint. And once you're done, you can let it cool, and then afterwards, you can grab it and then mount it on the car. Now I know there are gonna be some of you guys that are gonna be wondering what the car now sounds like with headers and no muffler. So as it stands right now, all that there is on the exhaust system is a resonator and that's it. So we're gonna turn the car on and see what it sounds like. Okay, now if you guys knew me from a while ago, you guys would know that I had a, a cat back exhaust on my Accord. And this is what it reminds me of. When you put your foot down, it is so damn loud. Ah, uh, it sounds so good. Okay, so this is fourth, and it's nice because when you're cruising, it's not stupid loud. Like, I can talk to you normally and you can hear me. But, yeah, and this is windows up as well. But when you downshift, So if you can tell down there, this is two and a half weeks later. Now, you can't really see a good shot of it, but that pipe coming across, that's our headers that we painted up. And as you can tell, it looks great. So, by doing this exact same procedure, you guys can replicate this and paint up your exhaust system with ceramic paint. If you guys are interested in picking up any of the paint that I use today that's great for exhaust headers, exhaust manifolds, and even downpipes, you know, you guys can check the description box and I'll have links for you there. If you guys have any questions regarding the video, throw it down there too. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I know it's heavy, well that's why we're replacing it. <laughs> you wish. And it's gonna be able to withstand the high temperatures of all the exhaust, of all the exhaust fluids, of all the exhaust gases passing through each one of these tubes. <laughs> Don't forget to guys, send off every little area. Put in the sand. With the scotch brand. <laughs>
And then when you cruise in fifth, see it's fine. No biggie. Stocky size. Yeah, it's stock. <laughs>